Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 22nd. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Happy Earth Day. And what can I say? Mother Nature is definitely showing off for the occasion. It was a nice, cool, and sunny start to our day. We also have a great start to your day and week. Coming up on today's show, we're celebrating Earth Day. One way we can help protect the Earth is through recycling. And now, the city of Houston is offering a recycling program that a lot of other cities don't have. Our own Seth Kovar is live with more. Plus, it's never too early to teach kids about climate change and how they can work to protect our living space. We are sharing some family fun Earth Day activities. And our friends at bestreviews.com, they're sharing some of the top eco-friendly products. That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. And as always, we begin with today's top talkers. Country star Luke Bryan has slid into a viral moment, literally. Take a look at this. The 47-year-old country crooner was performing in Vancouver over the weekend when, ooh, yeah, he slipped on what appeared to be a fan's phone on the stage coming down hard right on his back. Well, he took the moment in stride knowing it would go viral. Did anybody get that? It's okay. Right hey, uh, my lawyer, my lawyer will be calling. But I gotta see you. I don't know if he's actually gonna get lawyers involved, but Brian, he kept on performing despite needing a few stitches. And you know what they say, the show must go on. But here's the thing, producer Lou, he's actually known for falling, so get your life, maybe get some better shoes, because back in 2022, he slipped while dancing in skinny jeans. From the looks of him, he's not wearing skinny jeans anymore, producer Lou. <laughs> he also fell off the stage in 2014. Get rid of the baseball hat, get rid of the cowboy hat. Someone get this man a helmet. I gotta say, I love how you did your research. Like, Thank you. <laughs> I'm an investigative journalist. Yeah. <laughs> I am here for it. But um, what's going on? What I don't know. This? A lot of people have been asking me, was he drinking? You know, I don't know if he has any whiskey off stage. Um, but yeah, I, I think I was one of the. I, <gasps> yeah. But that's also like, does it almost look a little staged, like a little dramatic? And I love how he went along with it. He was like, okay. I yeah. got this phone on my hand. So many people are recording. You can see it right there. Like, so many people are recording right now. He knows he's going to go viral. You know, might as well just make fun of yourself. Yeah, like, that's what I would do. Have you ever had a really embarrassing fall in public? Ah, uh, let me think. I can't, like, re I can't recall. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think so. I know I'm boring like that. <laughs> Have you? Oh, yeah. Many, but one, my mom's gonna laugh. <laughs> I was, you know, the student union at Boulder. Yeah. I have a tendency to fall up stairs, up. Oh, so yeah. I was walking with my backpack, you know, it was in between classes, I was on my phone, and I tripped going upstairs. My phone went flying, and all my mom could hear was, help, ow! <laughs> it was mortifying, <laughs> but a lot of times when I fall, I just like, Pretend it didn't happen, you know? Just get yourself back up. It's not Ryan's game. <laughs> I know, but I do get nervous, especially when you have to like walk across a stage when I was acting, and if it was really close to the pit or the edge of the stage, I was like, please, dear Lord, don't let me <laughs> fall. <sighs> All right, another top talker we have. Did anyone watch baseball this weekend? I know it's not your, your sport necessarily, Lou. Did you watch it? Charlie, he always watches baseball. Do you guys watch? Yeah. yeah, our Astros lost, but that's not what we're talking about. Uh, let's play a game to see if you can spot why these players broke rules. So look at this. Now, here's the thing. This looks innocent enough. There are some rules, however, that seem to be frequently overlooked and broken in every game. To be exact, I bet my husband knows this rule. It's rule 4.06. So what is it? Well, according to the MLB rule book, rule 4.06 is about fraternization. It reads, quote, players in uniform shall not address or mingle with spectators, nor sit in the stands before, during, or after a game. No manager, coach, or player shall address any spectator before or during a game. Players of opposing team shall not fraternize at any time while in uniform. Now, technically speaking, all of 
the players you just saw, they are in violation. Regardless of whether they're signing autographs, tossing a ball in the stands, greeting their brother, or having their shoes signed. For what it's worth, though, the MLB doesn't seem too concerned about this rule. Uh, Producer Lou, I just think it's stupid. Why have the rule if no one's following it? Oh, I don't know if I can hear your mic. You there, Producer Lou? Oh, oh it might be my IFB. No, nope, I don't hear you. Oh, maybe you maybe talking? No. There. Yeah, I hear you guys Thank now. You, Charlie. Sorry about that. Okay, so what do you think about this rule? I was, I was saying, I don't know what harm would it make that, like, I don't know, two players, teams, like, say hello. Yeah, I like when they see each other and they're like, hey, because they used to play together. And also, kids, they line up before a game to get their balls signed. Like, don't take that away from the kids. I say it's a dumb rule. With Let's fans. Yeah. I'm still having trouble hearing you. It's probably my IFB. In case you missed it last week, my IFB broke and Lou fixed it. So I'm going to check on that in a minute. But in the meantime, I know that you like a good movie, producer Lou. So Courtney Friel, she's actually reporting on the new horror film from Universal. It features a 12-year-old vampire. This band of, like, misfit kidnappers gets thrown together none of them know each other and they're just hired for one night you know the rules no real names no backstories no cell phones a 24-hour job they're gonna kidnap this like millionaire's daughter so whose kid is she a very wealthy man who's about to be 50 million dollars poorer they don't know who though and they're just instructed to bring her to this like abandoned house joey yeah I'm sorry about what's going to happen to you. I'd never done any part like this. I'd never done a character like this. Um, and I've always loved horror films. Guys. Guys. Guys! Oh, no. He wrangles them all and, and seems to, to, to begin with at least, seems to be the sort of grown up in the group. A ballerina vampire. One of them gets killed, and then another one, and then they start asking, like, what's going on in this house? What are we talking about, like an Anne Rice or a True Blood, you know, Twilight? They have to collectively draw on their knowledge of vampires in popular culture to try and defeat this. Safe through the heart. Daylight is a big one. That's when, like, the supernatural element comes in, and we realize that we're dealing with not a 12-year-old girl. Ready? I just loved Abigail as her character and how she was like basically playing two different people. When I had those scenes where I'm killing everyone and I'm enjoying it, I just had to really get into it. Stories can be found right here every night at 9. The news you want at the time you need. ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39. I'm engaged and I'm getting married next April. If I hadn't done Invisalign, I probably would be dreading the wedding photos, which is not how you want to feel going into your wedding day. <laughs> rise, rise. Teen-wheeler wreck? Seriously injured? Debt piling up? Can't work? Some insurance companies can be difficult. We go at them where it hurts. In their greedy little pockets. Get it? We help you with your lost wages, medical bills, and your car or truck repairs. Jim Adler, Bill Adler. It's a go for the Texas Hammer. If you're hit, we won't quit. Till the greedy insurance company says yes to nothing less than a fair deal. I never thought I'd buy flooring from a service I saw on TV. It's just not me. But I heard great things about National Floors Direct. Name brand flooring, great installation, and an amazing price guarantee. 
At National Floors Direct, we offer next day installation of beautiful name brand carpet and luxury flooring and will beat anyone's price by 15% or it's free. Call 888-400-FLOOR. I saved $2,000 off my best quote and no interest for one year. Call National Floors Direct at 888-400-FLOOR. We bring the store to your door. TXU Energy is changing the energy game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. Having a plan that's made just for me changed everything. Live Your Free adapts to your changing energy needs. So I always get my biggest savings guaranteed. Either every day. Every night. Or every weekend. Which I can easily see in a TXU Energy app. Those are savings you never have to choose. Choosing's not really my thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. Every day the world gets darker and farther away. Take a shot! let see! You're clinically blind. You're a police officer? You need a partner. I do need a second pair of eyes. Up and to the left. You could have gotten yourself killed. I want to stay in the field. My tools, my tech. You can't go in alone. I'm not alone. I've got you. Sight Unseen. New episode Wednesday at 9, 8 central on The CW. This program is brought to you by Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers, Houston, Texas. Two and a half men, tonight at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. Welcome back. Well, here on Earth Day, recycling is one way you can help protect the environment. And now the city of Houston is offering a recycling program that a lot of other cities don't. Our own Seth Govar is joining us now live to break it all down for us. Good morning to you, Seth. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to you, Maggie. Yes, good morning from the Southwest Neighborhood Depository. It's right down from the interchange of the Southwest Freeway and the Sam Houston Tollway. It's one of five locations in the city of Houston where you can drop off any plastic, and I mean any kind of plastic that you want to recycle. It's a new program that started just Tuesday, six days ago. Let's go ahead and show you actually, though, a similar facility in Kingwood. It's one of two in that community that started accepting all plastics back in December of 2022. This is kind of a pilot program. A company called Cyclics International made it possible, and they say they saw recycling increase at those two Kingwood facilities two to four times. Cyclics has now partnered with the city of Houston as well, and as I mentioned last Tuesday, five of the city's neighborhood depositories started accepting all plastics for recycling. One of the company's executives lays it all out for us. It's a stream of plastic that hasn't been collected before. The current infrastructure collects primarily PET bottles and HDPE jugs. So the, the drink bottles, the water bottles, uh, the milk jugs, the laundry jugs, detergent jugs, those types of things. We're expanding that to all plastic and building the infrastructure to handle that. That Cyclics exec says right now only 10% of plastic gets recycled. Just 10%. His goal is getting that to 90%, hence the name of his program, 10 to 90. Now, here are the locations in Houston that started accepting all plastics on Tuesday. They are all neighborhood depositories, and we're talking about the northwest location on Summermeyer, northeast on Kirkpatrick, southeast on Central Street, and south on Sunbeam. And again, here I am at the southwest neighborhood depository. It's open from 10 until 7, Tuesdays through Sundays. So get your plastics in a bag and bring them here. And I want to wrap up this segment with a new development. Uh, what do you think? Uh, rather stylish, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. Feeling kind of blonde, actually. Hey. <laughs> and uh, Maggie, are you looking the same? I can't see you. Are, you, are yeah. you looking awesome like me? I feel like I need a good wax job. Maybe she missed a spot. Yeah. It tickles, though. Maybe and I think my lip here. gloss. I don't wear lip gloss when you have your mustache on, honey. I mustached you Probably a question. A good idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shoot. <laughs> Would you like to know why we're wearing these? <laughs> Please explain. Okay. So, mine isn't sticking, so I'm going to hold it like this. Okay. Here we go. So, Dr. Enterprises is teaming up with the National Forest Foundation to meet a donation goal of 10,000 trees. This really tickles. They, my dad has a mustache. Daddy, did your tickle like this? They asked us to wear the signature Lorax mustache on air during the week of April 21st. They committed to donate a tree for each anchor that wears a mustache on air. Bravo, Seth with the good hair. Here we have two trees donated. Sorry. If I have any, it's stuck on my lip gloss now. Producer Lou! All right, Jessica Willis.
Starbucks is standing by now with the top eco-friendly products from ConsumerResourceBestReviews.com. Let me clean up my stash. With Earth Day right around the corner, you can show your support by stocking up on eco-friendly items. Joining us now from Best Reviews is Jacob Palmer with their top tested products. Jacob, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me today. Okay, people are spring cleaning, spring refreshing, but it's so important to make sure that they're doing it eco-friendly and with products that will uh, be safe for our environment. So that's what you're getting into today. What do you have for us? Well, it's really important to take a look at it because, you know, when you think about Earth Day, you don't think about necessarily buying products. And there's a real threat out there in terms of being fooled. And the term for that is called being, it's called greenwashing. And with greenwashing, basically what that means is that they're overstating the environmental claims. So especially when you're looking for cleaning products around the house, check out the EPA's website. They have a lot of really great information where they'll get down to the brand and model and tell you whether the claims they're making are worth jumping for or not. You want to make sure you're reaching for the right green products and yes. they're actually doing what they're supposed to. Okay, water conservation is a big thing. So what do you have for us there? Absolutely. So we've been doing testing for this all over, just trying to make sure that you find that right thing that, number one, makes it easier for you, but also does help with conserving water. And our runaway favorite product is the Ratio 3 Smart Sprinkler System. It's great because it has uh, certain inputs to it where it can tell the local weather, so you're never that family watering during the middle of a thunderstorm, which is huge, but it also makes sure that the soil is right and you can connect it to your cell phone and an app makes just life so much easier and also gives that peace of mind that you're not wasteful as well. I love the technology being uh, implied in that with all the, you know, with water and watering. It's so much to think about when you're watering your Absolutely, lawn. So yeah. that's really cool. Okay, what do we have here right in front of me? So we're, let's start with the simple human composter. What's great about this is we've been testing it for a really long time. Super simple design design, but also very effective. So what's great about that is that it has that lid on it, super easy. If you're fumbling around cooking something, you can lift that up, throw in whatever you need to in there. But also, it, the lid is effective at making sure it doesn't smell, which is huge, and also it keeps away the fruit flies. We've been testing it for years. No fruit flies detected to this point. I'm a stickler about a clean trash can, so I love this, just keeping everything in its place. All right, there's so many water bottles on the market. How do you know which one is doing what you need it to do? Well, at Best Reviews, we understand that there's certain products that people feel very strongly about and yes. finding the right water bottle is absolutely one of those. We covered all of them in uh, March and we called it Parch Madness. And these were two of the final eight in that competition for us. One is from Hydro Flask. And when you buy this, you're making a real investment because it comes with a lifetime warranty. It's made out of super durable materials and it will also, you know, do the things you need it to do. Keeps it cool, keeps it hot. And then the other one that we have here is an awesome item that we really, really appreciate because it is made out of glass and it's dishwasher safe so it's super you know it's also aesthetically pleasing so people like to carry it around but it also has that level of kind of personality that people are always lo also looking for and so it's another one to really check out it's kind of give, giving some fashion to the water bottle yeah so the quarter love, water bottle i love anything that you can throw in the dishwasher too that's a huge sell for me okay what about the vitamix so this is obviously the most complicated product that i brought today this is the vitamix food cycler and what it does is a pretty unique piece of technology because you fill it up with your food waste, you lock it, and then you set it to run. Eight hours later, you've got fertilizer you can use in your yard or garden. And so it's really cool because it really helps you have that self-sustaining kind of farm system that you're doing no matter where you're living, whether it's an apartment or wherever. And we really love this too. We expect that this is the kind of technology that's going to become more and more popular. And especially in areas where composting isn't widespread, this makes it easier, makes it effective, and also will be something that is going to become cheaper over time. Jacob, thank you so much for keeping us up on all the things that we need to have our spring fresh be eco-friendly. Thank thanks you. so much for having me. Yes, of course. To learn more, head to bestreviews.com or just scan that QR code on your screen. Well, speaking of Earth Day, today is the perfect time to educate our little ones about climate change and how they can work to protect our living space. And joining us to demonstrate some fun Earth Day activities is Johnny Williams, co-owner of Sylvan Learning. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thank you and good morning. It's so nice to have you. First of all, I love your outfit. Thank you. Thank yes, you. representing on this Earth Day. Earth Day. And right when I saw you, I was like, oh my gosh, I did this when I was in school. Yes. Honey, I'm 41, so I'm glad it's still going strong. It's still going strong. So to start off, why is it so important to teach our kids about the earth? Well, we need to teach kids to conserve the earth and, and continuing to grow the earth and help produce 
um, clean air, mm -hmm. um, plants so that we may breathe, right. and other resources that uh, we can continue to uh, use to live lifelong right. um, in, in this journey. I love that, and it's, it's, it's never too early. Start them young, for early. sure, right? Right, right. And I love, I learn better when it's a hands-on activity. So yes. let's get to it. What are some of the things we can do today? Okay, here we have several activities. We have a uh, bird feeder, which <gasps> is, is the one we'll be doing today. Okay, I'll start. Um, what do I need to do? Okay, so with the bird feeder, you need a toilet roll okay. or a tissue roll and some string. Okay. okay. And then we're going to take, if you take that, sure. I'm going to help oh. you. Oh, thanks. Peanut put butter. The peanut butter. Now, the peanut butter, the purpose of the peanut butter is to stick the seeds on it. And I like to put a lot of peanut butter on there because mm -hmm. birds love peanut butter. Yes. And I love it, too. We have a cardinal family in our right. backyard. So, Hefe, my husband, I'm going to be like, honey, let's make this. The squirrels would like it, too. Yes. And... They'd go nuts for it. Just now, you take that and you, I want you to roll this oh. in the bird seeds. Okay. So press a little firmly on it so the bird seeds can take. I want to make sure that they get yes. a really good course. Yes. Oh, this good is course. so fun. Where do you get the bird seed? Where did you, you I bought that from Walmart. Well, there we go. One of my favorite stores. Yes, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll see when it's all done, this is what it looks like. You can hang it from a branch. Right. Tell me about this. I'm intrigued. Okay, this is a insect sanctuary. All right. So the insects. Wait, are there insects in there? No, yeah. no insects okay. in here right now. <laughs> I was about to like honey. So, you know, the importance of insects, you know, they help um, some insects eat plants, uh -huh. some eat insects, some birds may eat insects. So it's, right. it's an ecosystem. I and know. what you want to do is to provide them a safe place. All right. This is their safe place. They can go in, live. Uh -huh. And I like to, one thing I like to do is uh, extend the branches because sometimes, you know, before we go home, we want to sit in the driveway. <laughs> this is and, a mansion, y'all. Yes, and sit in the driveway, relax before we go into our sanctuary. I love and this. Live. I so live we there. want to give the incest a a safe place to live. Well, that's very nice. Right. Of you. I'll try not to be mean to them. <laughs> I, I, I get scared sometimes. I won't stomp on them. I'll give them a sanctuary. Are Quickly, great, we yeah. have about ten seconds left. What is this last one? Okay, this is. We don't get a chance. We do not get a chance to see how seeds grow underground. So this uh -huh. will give us the opportunity to see how seeds. Uh, germinate oh. and grow. Uh, put water in. What we'll do? Put the sunflower seeds. So sunflower seeds That's will my favorite flower. will grow faster. Okay. Put them in. Damp the water a little bit, and watch it grow. That's amazing. Where can we go for more information on all of these activities and to reach out to you all? Okay, you can go to www.sylvan.com, okay. sylvanlearning.com, and choose the location that um, suits your address. Okay. All right. So we have Missouri City, Sugar Land, and Richmond are the Sylvans that we own. Okay. Pick one of those Sylvans, come to us, and we will help you do these do DIYs I love um, it. yourself. I love it. Well, thank you so much for coming on thank and celebrating your birthday me. with us. Thank you for having me. An insect sanctuary. Yes. I could say I'm an architect now. All right, right. stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. CW39's Lifestyle Show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. Hi, I'm Brandon with Priority House Buyers. And I'm Pat, and we buy property all over Houston. Our family-owned business has been buying houses for cash and fixing up neighborhoods since 2009. We buy fixer-uppers and blower-uppers. Rented or vacant, inherited, foreclosed on, even homes in decent shape. And we'll pay all the closing costs. And there are no commissions. All it takes is a few minutes on the phone to see if our family can help yours. Call 832-821-1000. That's 832-821-1000. A big insurance company can grind out tens of thousands of claims per day. After a car accident, you're just a name they don't know and a face they won't see. To them, it's just business, but to you, it's personal. If you've been injured, call Terry Bryant. That will let them know that you've got serious attorneys on your side who will fight to make your claim one the insurance company cannot ignore. Call 713-973-8888. Go, go 
right now because the Rooms to Go Storewide Mattress Sale ends Monday. Don't miss this very special offer. Buy the Sealy Posture Feeding, Therapeutic, or Beauty Rest Select Mattress in your choice of sizes for just $5.95. That's three great brands, any size, one low price. Twin, full, queen, even a king size mattress, only $5.95. Plus, check out all our other great mattress buys. Hurry, the Rooms to Go Storewide Mattress Sale ends Monday. Because I have both Medicaid and Medicare, I got a special Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare. It's called DSNP. That's D-S-N-P. And it stands for Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. Ah, uh, my grandson. It's my boy. Hey, Grandma. And a WellCare DSNP comes with a whole lot of these. As in, WellCare gives me benefits I can use every day. And real human support and answers I can understand. And I get benefits like $0 copays on prescriptions and a WellCare Spendables debit card to pay for things like dental, utilities, and groceries. I can even use it to pay at the pump for gas. And that means a WellCare DSNP provides what I need when I need it. And that gives me the confidence I need to get through every day. The coverage you need and more. Call or visit wellcareyes.com to see if you qualify for more benefits. You changed this last year, Spencer. I'm not the same Olivia. This is about your future. Your dream. Well, time now, almost 927, and that means we're at that halfway mark. So coming up on today's show, in honor of Earth Day, I'm really excited because Science Moms, a nonpartisan group of climate scientists and mothers, are raising awareness of these extreme weather events and how they impact children. You have to see these very powerful ads that they have out. And fun fact, April is also Volunteer Appreciation Month, and we are going to be introducing you to some of the dedicated volunteers at Girl Scouts of San Jacinto. And for today's Motivational Monday, we're introducing you to Marcella White. With more than 35 years of aviation industry experience, she is a huge supporter for girls and women in STEM. I can't wait to sit down with her. She also just received a huge honor. So that and more is headed your way. The second half hour of Houston Happen starts after the break. When it comes to outdoor furniture, why choose Rooms to Go Patio? Because as America's largest independent furniture company, we have incredible buying power. And with the power to buy comes the power to save. And you know what that means for you. High quality furniture without the high price tag is what makes Rooms to Go Patio so special. Great style, affordable prices, and an amazing selection. Experience the power of Rooms to Go Patio for yourself. Shop a showroom near you today. Why are women everywhere raving about Sono Bello? Today is reveal day. Here we go. Oh my God. It's flat. Look at this. I love my new body. I love my new shape. We take fat anywhere in the body that's constrained to you. Once the fat is removed and thrown away, that's it. It's gone. I'm loving life. I'm loving all my loose-fitting clothes. I got to buy four brand-new bikinis. Join thousands of other women. Call or go to Sonobello.com. Kroger always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Hi, I'm JR with SellToJR.com and I buy houses as is in any condition. If I buy your house, SellToJR.com can help you find your next home or retirement community. If you want, I can handle the whole move, even the items you don't want to take with you. If you're considering selling your house but think there are way too many roadblocks, call me or go to SellToJR.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. Houston, Texas. For four decades, Walker, Texas lawyer has represented the beautiful people of this beautiful city. But we know in this city, an accident can happen at 
any moment. Don't go against the insurance companies alone. They have their lawyers. You should have yours. If you've been injured in an accident, call Walker, Texas Lawyer today and put four decades of experience on your side. Visit WalkerTexasLawyer.com today. When you're on the ground and you commit to staying on a story, you get sources that no one else has. And then you're there when something really big happens. A very strange twist, Ashley. Trust News Nation. News for all America. Hot Bench. Today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. the second half hour of Houston Happens. Thanks for starting your day and week off with us. And today, we celebrate our planet and the importance of environmental protection. Whether you take a small or big action, they all count. Now, keep in mind these sustainable switches for the home, courtesy of the Natural Resources Defense Council. So in your bathroom, let's start there. Consider switching to bar soap, bar shampoo, I actually just saw someone post about bar shampoo, or conditioner to lower the carbon footprint. You can also switch out your toilet paper roll to one made with recycled content. Now when it comes to your living areas, you can unplug your phone when it is fully charged. I know my husband does that. You also can use a ceiling fan to reduce energy use and install LED bulbs. In the kitchen and laundry room, using a dishwasher and laundry machine is not only more convenient, but it also saves on gallons of water. Also, try to switch out paper towels for reusable dishcloths. Lastly, use recycling bins and compost bins if you can. Of course, this is a lot to take in, so don't worry. We'll have it all posted over on our website, CW39.com. Well, in honor of Earth Day, Science Moms, a nonpartisan group of climate scientists and mothers, they are actually raising awareness of these extreme weather events and how they're impacting our children. So joining us with more is Dr. Joe Ellen Russell. Thank you, doctor, for waking up with us, especially on this Earth Day. I'm so excited to have you. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. So you are a scientist. You're also a mother. So tell us a little bit what you guys are doing on this Earth Day and what you want our children to learn. Absolutely. Science Moms are a group of us moms who are climate scientists during our day jobs <laughs> and are, are mothers full time. And we are uh, we joined forces to sort of to try and raise awareness of the threats being posed by climate change and provide parents with the tools to take action. So this Earth Day, we are releasing two new PSAs to raise awareness um, on worsening climate extreme weather events like fires, heat waves, and floods. Um, extreme weather is also destroying a lot of our natural beauty, including our favorite campgrounds, our favorite uh, water, you know, swimming holes for the summer, um, causing our kids to lose out on you know, those meaningful outdoor memories. And there are lots of things we can all do to help change that future. So what type of extreme weather are we seeing more of? I know we cover a lot of flooding here in Houston, heat waves and dare I say hurricanes. Yeah, and, and I bet you are also covering wildfires and wildfire yeah. smoke as well. Um, heat waves in the summer, I'm, I'm here in Arizona, and uh, we had 500 plus deaths last summer from heat. It's a really big deal, and it's getting worse. Uh, but there are things we can do and ways we, you know, honestly, it's not just us teaching our kids, it's our kids teaching us. Mm. A lot of them have already had climate science in their classrooms, even as little, little guys. <laughs> and what they're telling us and what we're telling them is uh, it is great to swap whenever you can. I loved all your tips for how you can reduce your carbon footprint all over the house. So whenever you can, swap away from carbon polluting to non-carbon polluting energy sources. Electrify everything whenever you can. Mm. Uh, new to you or vintage or, you know, let's, let's used is always great, right? It uh, reduces the amount of stuff we put in the landfill. There are so many great ways uh, to actually cut all of our carbon footprints and you know there's some really great news about this too we've already at the united states the whole country has cut already 20 percent off our total carbon emissions which is extraordinary because we did this at the same time we were growing our population and our economy 
pretty cool, huh? That's actually really cool, and I always like, I feel like we focus so much on the negative. I like to focus on the positive. It, it encourages us. Now, I do want to say, if we don't take action, what is it going to look like for our children and our children's children? I have a little one, so it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous, too. I have two. I'm right yeah. there with you. <laughs> it is, what I worry about is um, our, one of our favorite camping sites that I went to when I my parents took me was, uh, we went to Glacier National Park in Montana. And we're worried it'll be National Park, you know, pretty shortly because of the lack of those glaciers. I boot skied down Panhandle Glacier as a teenager, mm -hmm. and I'm, and, and most of it's gone now. Jeez. Um, these, and what it'll look like for us here in Arizona is a really, really long hot season where it's not safe to put your kids outside to play where you have to a cabin fever season for us in Arizona. And I imagine in Houston, there's yeah. a period of time in the summer where it's just so hot, it's dangerous for them. And you have to be careful or get up earlier, walk the dogs earlier, et cetera. And we're expecting that those really hot days could be a month or even two months longer every summer come you know in 50 years oh my so goodness. if we do things now to cut those carbon emissions we are we are basically giving our our future grandbabies more you know beautiful not too hot days to play outside in the future well we really want to think about our children and their children so where can we go for more Ah, uh, well, we're at sciencebombs.com, these two new PSAs. They are fantastic, and we try really hard to make sure that they are short enough to watch in the carpool line while waiting for pickup. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to take you up on that one. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and happy Earth Day to you. Happy Earth Day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Really incredible. We want to definitely check out those PSAs. Meanwhile, Earth Month and Earth Day have a way of bringing together people worldwide to celebrate environmental progress, educate each other about preserving nature, and advocating for sustainable policies and practices. In fact, in Chicago, families are doing their part by volunteering with the Honeycomb Project. And as Garner Hall tells us, kids are working alongside their parents to honor and preserve the planet. Nature is a part of what we need to live. In a nature preserve in Jefferson Park. We're helping nature, we're helping plants grow, and it's also relaxing. Young helpers were busy beautifying, mulching trails, and planting native species while pulling the invasive ones. I like playing with flowers and like and like learning about new plants. Today we're working out at a Cook County Forest Preserve District to help increase the biodiversity and health of this natural area so the plants and the animals that are here have um, a healthy environment to be in. Sarah Anderson has been leading this effort for the past seven years as part of the Honeycomb Project, a nonprofit that organizes volunteering events designed for families, teaching kids the power and rewards of service. Hopefully by kids coming out and volunteering in a forest reserve district, they start to connect with nature and realize the beauty that's all around them, even in an urban area. It's a nice way for a family to spend a couple of hours on, on a weekend uh, doing something good for the community and in this case, the environment. Creating memories and planting the seeds for good guardians of the environment. It feels like work, but at the end of the day, you're proud of yourself. And, so, and when you do a lot, it kind of gives you a joy kind of thing. And so if we help our Earth now, we can plan for the next billion years. Well, April is also Volunteer Appreciation Month, and I want you to meet two dedicated volunteers with Girl Scouts of San Jacinto. Please introduce yourselves. My name is Melissa Guevara. My name is Ephraim Guevara. Well, I think this is a really amazing journey that you've had because your daughters actually inspired you to volunteer. Tell me a little bit about that. So, um, I have a, we have a 19-year-old now, which um, we started whenever she was a first grader. And now she's a freshman in college, and she's about to finish her freshman year. So and we still have a 14-year-old. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so we still have a few years. Yeah. Few Hopefully years. continue mm -hmm. being a Girl Scout. Yep. Mm -hmm. And why Keep did they decide to be a Girl Scout? Um, my oldest decided to be a Girl Scout because she had heard great things about it, and her friends wanted to be in it. And 
um, they were having a recruitment event at her school and she was like, mom, dad, let's go. I was never in it, so I didn't really know much about it. Right. But um, we went and we liked what we heard and he basically voluntold me to be in <laughs> <laughs> but um, I haven't been able to get away from it since because it's such a great program. Mm. And I love that you're a dad and you're involved yeah. because my husband is a girl dad. So tell us why this drew you in and you voluntold your wife. Yeah. Well, when I, once I voluntold her, she was like, well, that's fine. I'll do it, but you're coming with me. Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, that's a great choice. I'll go. And uh, ever since then, we just uh, been sticking together and with our girls, and that's one way to really, really, uh, as a family, go out and do what we basically spend time mm -hmm. with the fast-paced life right now in Houston. Is just that's one way we just slow it down and we all enjoy each other and make new friends. And our daughters, you know, they grow up and so much easier for them to just be out. Right. You know, yeah. And you're making a difference in our community, which is amazing. Right. Is there one volunteer project that you did with Girl Scouts of San Jacinto that really just sticks with you? We've done so many <laughs> throughout the years, but um, I think that because I'm an archery um, instructor and he's a canoe instructor so, with Girl Scouts. So um, I think just seeing the faces in those girls when they first hit that target or yeah. um, when they uh, get the courage to get into the canoe and get onto the water. I right. think just mm -hmm. every time we see those faces, mm -hmm. the smile makes it all worth it. Well, yeah. thank you both mm -hmm. for what you're doing. Where would everybody, where should they go if they want to get their children involved with Girl Scouts or if they want to volunteer? Um, you, can join, you can go to our website at gssjc.org. Um, and also we have recruitment events around um, like when school's starting, so. I know, I definitely may, my little one, she's 18 months, but I want her to be a Girl Scout too. So thank you for what you're teaching your daughters, and I also love what they've taught you. Yes. So it's really an incredible yes. thing. Again, we'll have all the information over on our website, CW39.com, and stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions, I ask questions. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. Changing the energy game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. Having a plan that's made just for me changed everything. Live Your Free adapts to your changing energy needs. So I always get my biggest savings guaranteed. Either every day. Every night. Or every weekend. Which I can easily see in a TXU Energy app. Those are savings you never have to choose. Choosing's not really my thing. TXU Energy, energy for everything. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief comfort and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis knee pain centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Well, for 
today's Motivational Monday, I'm so excited because we welcome Marcella White. Marcella has more than 35 years of aviation industry experience. She's a licensed pilot and certified cabin attendant. She and her husband are also the co-owners of Tavero Jet Charter at Hobby Airport. Thank you so much for waking up with us. Thank you very much for the invitation. When I read your story, I had to have you because you're making such a difference in paving the way for women and girls in STEM. So tell us a little bit about your story. So I uh, came into aviation when there was a whole lot fewer women <laughs> than right. there are now. And I absolutely do promote girls and women in aviation, primarily because they are a minority in our industry, but add such huge value to everything that we do. And what drew you into this field? So I, I traveled my whole life. Uh -huh. My mom was Peruvian, my dad was American, and I was actually born in Africa. Wow. And then we moved to Peru, and then we moved to Venezuela, and then ended up in Houston. Jeez. And my sister got into this field first, and then right after college, I joined her. Oh my goodness. So tell us a little bit about some of the challenges you've had to overcome. You know, the challenges, I think, are there's a perception in our society of what women are like, or at least when I started in this industry, it's that we're empathetic and we're sweet and we're nurturing and we're smart and we are all of those things. But we can also be assertive and great decision makers and we can bring great processes to solution making. So, And we didn't bring different processes and different thought processes to a cockpit or to any work environment that is different than men's, not better, not worse, different, and right. those complement each other so well. So I, I'm a strong believer in women in any field in our industry. So how are you helping other women and young girls in STEM? So we're always looking for women. We have plenty of women dispatchers. We have cabin attendants. We have, those are two pretty female dominant right. um, positions in our industry. Where we're looking for more is in maintenance and in the pilot, in the cockpit as pilots. So those are a little bit harder um, just by virtue of them having been male dominated. Mm -hmm. But we're all, I'm always involved in organizations and searching for women that want to uh, expand their experience or move into a business aviation career. And you were talking about scholarships too. Yes, so I'm the chairperson of the South Texas Business Aviation Association uh, Scholarship Committee. We have an application open right now. We'll be giving away up to $20,000 soon. The window will close May 31st, but it is uh, stxbaa.org and anybody that is 18 years old or older can apply, male or female. That's really incredible. And what's even even more incredible, you just received quite the honor, one of Houston's most influential women. I was shocked, honestly. <laughs> I was in such esteemed company. It was, it was inspiring. It was, um, it, it, it was just an amazing experience to see all the other women in our group and their accomplishments. And I don't ever think of myself as being part of that elite group because they were really impressive honorees. That's what makes you so special, is that you don't see it. But just in the short time I've had with you, I can definitely see it. So for all of the women or young girls out there, what piece of advice would you give them? Never give up. Never give up on your dreams. Always know your subject matter better than anybody else. And that's the key, mm. I think, for any career is you don't go in thinking, I'm going to get this because I'm a woman. You go in thinking, I'm going to get this position, I'm going to have the opportunity. And you will if you know your subject matter really well. Study hard, know a lot about what you're trying to move into, what career, and the rewards will come. Oh, thank you for that. I think we all can take something away from that. I couldn't think of a better guest for a Motivational Monday. Thank you for all that you're doing, and I hope you come back on the show. Thank you so much. I'd love to. Thank you for having me. And us. also, speaking of really amazing women, I'm not sure if you knew this, but the world's number one player in women's golf, Nellie Korda, is now a two-time major champion, and her most recent win happened right here in our area. She won her record-tying fifth straight tournament with a two-stroke victory victory in the Chevron Championship up in the Woodlands yesterday. She actually joins Nancy Lopez and Anika Sorenstam as the only players to win five consecutive LPGA events. And she also took home, you ready for this? quite the cash prize, you all, $1.2 million by winning the first major tournament of the year. The Chevron Championship was played at the club at Carlton Woods in the Woodlands, where it will remain until at least 2029. So it was a little bit windy, but 
I'm so excited. Ito's out, but we've got the chief who has entered the chat, Adam. Yeah. Did you enjoy the weather this weekend? I know I did. I was out yesterday. The wind was a little annoying. And yeah. I was actually at the uh, the Dynamo game on Saturday night, which the cold front just passed like right before that game started. So it was yeah. a little cold and windy and people were buying blankets and actually watching a soccer game with a blanket. Um, but I mean, I'll take the, the cool over the heat that's coming in the next few months, I think. That's How the thing. I don't want to complain about it because yeah. we know what is coming. And I love that refreshing spring air. Me and I have been doing these really long walks at the park and it's just really nice. I so. miss the walks with the little ones. Mine are too old for the walks. <laughs> They're like, Dad, like I'm they're too, too busy. Walks. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, well, I need to work out and I want to spend time with my daughter. So I combined the two. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So how's it looking today and the uh, rest of the week? Great day for that today. It's really pleasant weather for us. Now this morning, and I just wrote an article on our website about this, but it got to 53 in Houston. And I think there's a chance that's going to be the coldest we see until October. Not a guarantee, but it's a chance. If we look at numbers from last year, it, it would go that way. Uh, 74 degrees is where we're headed today. The winds are lighter. It's just pleasant weather for today. You can see we've got high pressure, which usually brings calm weather this time of year, but that's going to scoot out of the way. One thing that's going to do is block this cold front away from us. The other thing that's going to do is allow a south wind to start to build up the next few days, and really by the end of the week, you're going to notice that wind really picking up from the south, which of course means warmer air and more humid air is on the way, and also the stage we set for some severe weather, at least in north Texas. I'm not quite sure we're going to get anything too strong down towards us, but it's actually going to be a really active pattern this week for parts of Texas. Texas. Severe weather outlook today, or I should say tomorrow, little part of West Texas. Wednesday, overlapping that area. Thursday, there's another section here overlapping that. So three days in a row where West Texas could see severe storms. Then you tack on Friday's severe weather outlook. It includes Dallas, much of the Central Plains, and one more day. This is Saturday, so I know this is a mess because it's all overlapped, but where the point is there's five consecutive days here where severe weather is possible in parts of Texas, but all that likely to stay too far north. So it's quiet weather for us. We've got temperatures on the rise, though, this week. So seven 70s today and tomorrow, 50s again tomorrow morning. That's going to be our last cool morning for a while. Notice the lows go 60s and then 70s by the end of this week and this weekend. That's the warmer and more humid air building in because of these breezy south winds. Rain chance is pretty low, 20% on Friday, not because I'm unsure if there's going to be rain. I know there'll be rain north. Will it make it far enough south to reach us? That's kind of the question mark. So just a low chance there on Friday. And if you want to plan out your weekend already, I think we're rain free on Saturday. Maybe a little bit of a better chance for some rain or storms on Sunday. Obviously Obviously, it's a long way off, so we're kind of, uh, you know, taking a, a, our best guess at it right now, but we'll keep everyone updated throughout this week how it looks. But pretty nice weather here, especially during the first part of this week, Maggie. Hey, I'm here for it. I see more long walks in my future. I do yeah. need, though, Adam, I need to get better walking shoes. Oh. Yeah, I got, like, shin splints because I'm pushing the stroller up hills and stuff, <laughs> and yeah. You need the shoes that look like they're for... People older than you. Let's just say it like. Are that. you saying this because I just turned 41? Ones. Are you saying like I need orthopedic shoes? <laughs> I, I've I've reached the point in my life where I it doesn't matter what shoes look like anymore. Just whatever's comfortable is what I'm going with. So. Oh, you're a true dad. Yeah. You are the dad. <laughs> Rocket the dad. Do you wear the high white white socks with it too? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Not a good no, look. No, no, no. Yeah, save your children. But I'm <laughs> I'm still too young. You're a little bit older than me, not by much. There but for the on. orthopedic shoes. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. We're walking into breaks you afterwards. Looking for a splash of fun? Dive into the ultimate bath bomb party experience with Bus City Soap. Crafted with love and care, our plant-based handmade bath bombs are free of harsh chemicals, giving you a guilt-free soak every time. Whether it's a kid's birthday bash, a ladies' night out, a date night, or a corporate outing, there's a party for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Make a splash and book your party today with Buff City Soap. Book your party online at partywithbuff.com or call any of our seven Houston area locations. Searching for dental implants? When you find yourself needing to replace all of your teeth, you've done the research. You've heard Renew Smiles say we are up to 60% less than other providers. And maybe you thought to yourself, not a chance. But the reality is, that is 100% true. Renew Smiles is up to 60% less than other providers and offers low monthly financing, even with lower credit scores. It's more than just teeth. It's life-changing. Don't take our word for it. Renew gets all five stars from me. My first steak in 12 years. Wow. They say they're affordable, and they really are. You get the same high quality, amazing digital technology, a proprietary system that patients love, but what they love even more is the price. They love getting a beautiful, natural smile for less in one day. That's Renew Smiles, right in your local neighborhood by local doctors. Call 281-800-5000 or 
visit RenewSmiles.com. If you always wanted a sleeper sofa, shop Rooms to Go now through Monday. Start with a great-looking sofa at a great price. Then add a sleeper to the sofa for an extra $199. There are dozens of fabulous styles, colors, and fabrics to choose from. Buy your favorite sofa, then upgrade it. Add the versatility and function of a comfortable sleeper for an extra $199. $199. Just hurry. The Rooms to Go sleep sale ends Monday. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. The medical profession has so much opportunity. I chose the College of Healthcare Professions. They have flexible 100% online or on-campus programs. With in-person classes just two days a week. At CHCP, you can start a new career in as little as nine months. Which leaves more time for me. And for what's really important. Visit chcp.edu for the career of your life. Get the last laugh with two and a half men. What are you staring at? Nothing, senor. And mom. Beep, beep, beep. Weeknights starting at 10 on CW39 Houston. Well, today's pop music scene might be dominated by Taylor Swift, but back in 1997, ooh, I feel kind of old, it was all about, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want, the Spice Girls. Former member Victoria Beckham, she celebrated her birthday. We share a birthday, April 17th. She celebrated this weekend, 50, you all, and all the Spice Girls showed up to her party. So nostalgic. One of their hits was a song called Stop. Why am I telling this to you today? Well, 27 years later, because the Spice Girls had an impromptu reunion. Take a look. What's even hotter is her husband, <laughs> yes, Beckham. He filmed this and he had a fanboy moment. He's so hot and supportive. Oh, that's nearly a wrap on today's show. Before we go, here's a look at today's sponsored content. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, everybody. Happy Earth Day.